As organizations accelerate their shift to the cloud, there is a growing need to reimagine their data security and compliance strategies for today's new cloud-first hybrid environment. And in the evolving panorama of cyber threats, data security posture management has become a catalyst to drive organizations to take a new approach to risk and security management. But what does it really mean to implement DSPM effectively? And how can you meet the data security and compliance needs of today and the next decade to come? In this program, we will explore how organizations can reimagine enterprise security with two of the industry's leading experts, Garner Research Senior Director Analyst Brian Lowens and Big ID CEO Dimitri Sirota. So let's start the program and welcome Brian Lowens from Gartner. Hi, my name is Brian Lowens. Um, I'm with Gartner. And I want to talk to you today about data security posture management. What is this? I believe it's a really important technology. It's emerged in the last few years. And I'm very excited by the capabilities this is bringing. It's probably one of the most exciting developments I've seen in the 12 years I've been with Gartner. So let's tell you more about this. The traditional data security products that you're familiar with are struggling. They're not able to actually find all of your data. And the problem this gives you is it's leaving you blind to a multitude of risks that your data is exposed to and how this affects your business. So let's explore what we mean by this and help you understand what might be at risk and why you need to worry about it. So why do security products leave you blind to data risks? Well, something to really pay attention to is that this diagram, this picture, tries to show that there are people in an office. They're searching for something. They're wearing blindfolds. They can't see what they're looking for. They can't see the objects in front of them. They don't know what to look at, what to look on, or there's something underneath it or behind the object in front of them. They don't know where their colleagues are in this picture. All sorts of challenges emerge, but there's actually many similarities with the real world products that you might deploy in your architecture. Because those products are deployed as independent management consoles. And the ones that you deploy are limited probably because you're, you've got a limit on the budget available or the staff that are available to operate those, those consoles. Think about um, how you're trying to orchestrate those products. Because they're independent, they don't connect to each other. You can't simply put the same policies and the same security controls in place across those consoles because they act differently. They act differently because they apply data classification, for example, to either structured data or unstructured data. They typically don't act on both. So you find that these products don't even see the same data. They don't see data in the same way. They will leverage and apply metadata completely differently to those other product consoles. So something needs to improve. And we'll talk to you about this in the next slide. What is data security posture management? How can it help? My diagram shows uh, DSG. This stands for data security governance. And it's really important to start off with a story which helps you define what are the data security policies that should be in place in your organization. This affects the variety of products that you might have in place but is setting it at a high level of defining how those products should deploy and implement policies and essentially establishes your data security posture on how you need and want to protect data through a variety of reasons. Data security posture management has, I guess, three core capabilities that are evolving. First one is the ability to be able to build a data map across your infrastructure and to be able to identify and map the data pipelines that connect across these data repositories <clears throat> that exist in your infrastructure. It allows you to analyze the data content within and across this data map to understand how that data is evolving. And this is leveraging the concept of data lineage because data will always change and be um, mutated and combine the different data sets across the infrastructure. And understanding how that data is then accessed by the variety of pipelines and connections to staff across your organization. This helps identify data risks that start to evolve from that mapping and from the analysis of the residency of that data. 
to understand how those pipelines create risks because of how they're connected to staff. And will also help create alerts when security and data risks are, are identified. So a number of important characteristics to look at with data security posture management. 